a, a lot of tough decisions that will have to be made overnight uh, tonight and through, through the morning by a lot of school superintendents, school districts, and also parents on whether to send their kids to school tomorrow. So far, no schools have canceled classes, but the suspect or this wanted woman, Sol Pais, is still on the run tonight. We got an update just a few moments ago from Dean Phillips, the special agent in charge of this case with the FBI. Take a listen. We identified that uh, she departed the airport and, and went to a, uh, a store where she did procure a weapon. She obtained a pump action shotgun and ammunition. She was then uh, taken to uh, an area where she uh, was last seen out towards the, the foothills. Um, and we have been trying to find her ever since. Now, no specific threats have been made against any specific schools. We're told that most of these threats uh, were in person. They, they came over the past couple of days. The uh, FBI office in Miami actually tipped uh, the agents here in, in Denver off that they're, they should be on the lookout for this woman. Again, they're calling this a massive manhunt tonight. Uh, this is pretty unprecedented to have all these school districts in the Denver metro affected like this. And they say they will be diligently looking all night, trying to find Sol Pais. Again, we want to show her your picture throughout this newscast. If you see her, do not approach. Call 911. Again, she was most recently seen dropped off in the foothills. We do know she has a pump action shotgun and ammunition, which she purchased here in Colorado. They tell us that she does not have any known connections to this state other than being infatuated with Columbine. Uh, we, our affiliates in Florida did reach out to her family. An FBI agent uh, answered uh, when we tried to contact them there, and we have not been able to speak with them directly. But again, if you see her, call authorities immediately tonight. Reporting live at FBI headquarters, Kagan Harsha, Fox 31.